Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy A Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT, Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, what up, Joni? Aw, dude, it's a magical day of the week for us to do talk things on, for you, us, and them. Every day with you is magical. Aw, dude, that's how I feel about my life. Good. Except for minus the magic. And the call. Every day is life. (laughs) So thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're watching on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, you should subscribe there. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Grandma's t- Turntable, everywhere you can find podcasts. And uh, this dude does switch things. It's funny. It's like I can tell when you're trying to hold back profanity. What? I don't fucking hold back shit, dude. <laughs> don't spit. Don't double down God, now. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N on my DHT underscore crazy town. Twitch.tv. What up? Yeah, dude. They don't Raw. know what's up with that. They know it now. Yeah, they do. They, yeah, so, they know. Uh, what's new with you, man? What's what's going on in the old TNT of my head? <laughs> the tnt sphere, as I like to call yeah, it. Yeah, the tsphere. sphere yeah. The Dynamite... Uh, dimension. Yeah, dude, that's where I go. <laughs> Not a lot, dude. You know, work, home, work, home, work, home. Yeah, dude. It's you know, uh, twenty twenty is the year of the home. It's the year to work home. The year of the work home, dude. Have you ever? They all get to live like me now. Have you ever lived where you worked? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to wait. Hold I'm trying on. Trying to confuse you, dude. Have you ever worked where you live? Yes. Have you ever lived where you worked? Kind of? It feels like you live where you work sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it does feel like I live there. Yeah. It's like I just come home to sleep. It's just like a, a bedroom that's like 20, 30 miles away. Yeah, dude. Just so you can have some privacy with your parts before you got to go back to work. Wow, John. That is a very, very dark way to look at work. <laughs> it's like basically I live there and I just come home to sleep. And play with your parts. <laughs> <laughs> Use your use your parts for things, you know. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> what, yeah. are we, what are we talking about? Use here? your hands for video games. Use your hands for other things. No. What do you got for me today, dude? Like I'm ex- letting you lead the way today. It's just an extended lunch break. All right. Well, I was just extended lunch break. <laughs> right. I feel you. Yeah. So I was just looking at this story uh, okay. just to kind of get an idea, but it appears that. Uh, a team of researchers have built a bionic device they say can restore vision to the blind. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. It is pretty cool. It's been like 10 years in the making, but this uh, this group of scientists have are ready to start implanting bionic eyes in human subjects. Are they going to be on Wi-Fi? What do you What do you mean? Are you, is it going to be like a like a Google Home eye? No. Like it'll be connected to the internet, so you can like. I don't think that restores blindness. Dude, I think that's just pointless. What if you like put the bionic eye in, and then you could like <laughs> look on the phone and see what your eye sees, and like record it. I mean, I assume that in the future, Jonas, bionic eyes are going to be superior to ours. POV porno, dude. They could just like put the bionic eyes in, and then like whatever you see the whole time is what's recorded for the porn movie. It's like real D. <laughs> <laughs> so uh the researchers at this university jonas they they have a wireless implant it comes with like a headset that the person has to put on so you'll you'll know who's rocking the bionic eye oh so it isn't like an implanted i mean yeah there is an implant okay because they actually put like these micro chips into your head oh okay they're only like nine by nine millimeters so they're small oh okay but how they, many millimeters are in a centimeter i don't know okay. jonas <laughs> I know how centimeters work. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the millimeter. Well, yeah, ex, ex, a little extra ADD today. It's cool, though. All right. <laughs> I'm just curious, dude. I'm just, very, science, bro. Very, very curious. So they did this to sheep. I'll pretty she, she didn't have any... Uh, any adverse effects but uh yeah dude looks like we you know i mean like whenever i whenever we do news like this i'm always like yeah but where's the where's the proof you know and it's going to be like another 10 years before it's even on the market oh yeah if even that well because like if they've just been doing it to sheep like i mean they got to get it on a human somewhere and then watch that human for a while make sure it isn't gonna like exactly like a hacker can't hack into his bionic eye and take him over see i don't i think you have to like put something in it to make it hackable i don't think that like you can just like i can't walk up and hack the toaster 
If it's connected to the internet, you can. Why, why would my eye be connected to the internet? Everything. Why is our Why is my so I can thermometer get, connected to the internet? So I can get Amazon ads in my vision, my dude, that purview. Would be, that would be good. That dude. would be horrible. Dude. You're like, what? before you see today, <laughs> take a quick advertisement for see foam. Yeah, we've been working ten years in the making just to see if we can get people to see and get Amazon ads in. I don't dude, see the point of having Wi-Fi connected. Got to monetize. I think you just made this up. <laughs> they gotta monetize it, dude. They monetize it by charging you fifty thousand dollars to just for the unit itself plus what would surgery costs. If you okay, two questions. All right. If you had always been blind, and then they told you you could see, how much would that be worth? Or if you had vision, lost it, and then they told you they could bring it back, how much would that be worth to you? And would the cost be different? No. I imagine if I was if I was blind and I'm like the same age I am now, then I'd be like, yeah, I'd run a see more than anything in the world. And if I lost my vision, I'd already know. So things are more valuable to you once you've already known, so like the, the sweetness of their taste. Well, yeah, that's what and that was my thought. Like if I was blind forever, mm -hmm. my whole life, and then I'm like, well, I don't know how much money it would be worth to be able to see. But if I like had known what it was like to see and then lost my vision, it's like you, you all, you, you know what I mean. Like if you have it and it's taken away, it always like that. That kind of leads into the second part of the story. There was a lady um, who, in an attempt to defraud the insurance company, okay, she severed her own hand. Oh, and then, I thought you meant about the eyes. No, no, this is just another part. One was one of it was wholesome; the other one was not so. Wholesome. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was like, where does this fit into her eye? Anyway, so, so she, there's she cut her own hand off. Yeah, there's this. Uh, a, I'm not sure if it was Serbian or anything. I don't have an article up right now. I can I can't remember, but it was some um, some Serbian lady. Truth, not fact. Serbian, Florida. It was did not happen it's in my America. Favorite place, Serbia. But uh, you know, she took out a bunch of insurance policies, and then like a month later, she was like, "Oh snap, my hand fell off." She cut her hand off like, with a man saw. Like, if you were going to do some, like, uh, AD&D type stuff, like, accidental death and dismemberment stuff, like, to, cla to claim it on your insurance. I was thinking Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I know you but... were. That's why I had to. That's why I had to. Uh, like... uh, why would you go for cutting off the hand? Uh, because I think that's the way that she could get the money. Oh, but, the most money. Yeah, but guess how much she was going to get if she had gone through with it, Joe. How much would it take for you to cut your own hand off? Oh this my is kind of this few, is kind of where I was leading. A few million. In. A few million. That's, that's a hand, dude. That's like a lot of like your so, life. Okay. Would if you, you lose one eye? Yeah, yes. You can still see. If you lose one hand. Dude, that that limits you a lot. Yeah, but if you lose an eye, they're only gonna give you like what two hundred fifty thousand maybe for your eye. Okay, continue on your way. So would you would you cut your hand off for? Let's go high. Would you cut your hand off for fifty million? Fifty million. Yes. Uh, probably because I could get a buy on a can with that. Okay. Would you cut it off for ten million? Uh, same probably because I could get I could get a buy on a can with that. Would you cut it off for five million? Depends on what she's buying a can. How said would you cut it off for five million? I don't even know if I would really do it for ten. Now I think about it, <laughs> <laughs> it's a well, lot, dude. That's like a definitive, like. Yeah, I like my hands. Yeah, well, it's, I'm it's, good it's, with my hands. It could I be do. your left. She lost her left, and she's obviously a righty. I, I saw pictures of her. Attractive lady too. It's really quite disappointing. Apparently, like her boyfriend kind of talked her into it. Oh, that's that's uh, you know. Sociopathic. Jonas, she cut her hand off for the grand total of drum roll, please. One million dollars. One million, huh? And now she gets to go to court and go to jail, and she still don't have a hand. Oh, they weren't able to put it back on. She cut it off. And then was like, I don't have a hand now. So I need my million dollars. That's, that's like a that's like a big commitment. Give me money. Was she did she that seems like <laughs> <laughs> That seems like Dude, did, I don't know, man. Like that seems I like. I mean it does I seem like I like money as much as anybody else, I guess. But like a million dollars to cut my hand off? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm aware, man. Like, I don't even feel like I could get a good hand replacement for that. <sighs> and, and like I, I thought about it, I was like, I don't really use my left hand, you know, that much. And then like when I was riding in the car, I was like drinking, drinking uh, a beverage and like driving at the same time. I was like, you know, I probably yeah. wouldn't be able to do this. You as easily. Uh, use your hand more than most people I know. 
I you play know. video games all the time. You know oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, like. Oh no, dude! It's gonna be more than fifty. Yeah, for me. I was gonna. Or fifty million, yes, but more. Yeah, dude. I was but, like, you use your left hand all the time. That that's your. That's like your. Where am I going in the game? Hand. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna have to say my cutoff point is probably like fifteen. Fifteen million. Yeah, I'm cutting my hand off. Half it. Really? F it, dude. I can buy a new hand. I'll just have to. I'll be imputed. Yeah, dude. Can you play video games with bionic hands? Well, I've seen like prosthesis and stuff, and like uh, they have like some pretty elaborate prosthesis. Well, actually. let me ask you this. So then, What's how that? much would it cost for someone to pay you to say you can never play video games again? Because essentially, you have that risk if you cut your hand off. So would you just someone paid you fifteen million said you can never play video games again? That would suck. Yeah, because I mean, if you cut your hand off, that's a there's a good chance it's done. But yes, I would give up video games for fifteen million dollars. I can still watch them. Oh, I guess yeah. I guess you just wouldn't and that, play. that's fine. That's fine. I can still watch them, you and that, like, I, I get enjoyment out of like that. You like that guy who had an accident and can't like <laughs> have sex anymore when he just watched? Yeah, how much to give up sex, John? Is how much is that going to cost? Um, well, okay, let me ask you this. Actually, <laughs> you can't actually answer my question penetrating with a, question. a vagina or coming at all? Because there's because like you, you can still masturbate and get off, like, or you can get a blowjob, but like, yeah, but or, that's, or that's, you can never put your penis inside anything ever again. Yeah, but if you if you beat off too much, Jonas, you just become an incel because of, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if my options are no sex for money, but I can still get off sometimes. Uh, yes, you cannot. You cannot. She can't touch your penis. Oh, so another person can never touch your penis. You're another, the only one that can touch your penis. If anybody your else ever touches your penis, it turns into a raisin and falls off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's super fragile. Super, super it just becomes the most fragile thing on the planet. Only you know how to handle Ooh, it. Ooh, how much money for that? Yeah, that's a lot, man. I mean, I can still watch sex. I can still, like touch other women and stuff mm. i can still touch them i just can't put i just can't use my stuff i don't know any woman that's going to want to be with you if she can't touch your, your junk just saying and that goes for not just you but any guy in yeah general. yeah i mean i got hands right i got fingers yeah but I, there's she, toys yeah but she could never touch it like what are you what are you doing <laughs> i'm rich you bitch. Just, <laughs> you're just treating this chick like a buffet and then like you know yeah, dude, I uh but I'm rich. I mean, yeah, but you could never Ah oh, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the point of being rich if you can't enjoy the one thing that the majority of rich guys enjoy? What's that? Which is illicit vagina. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Um, People yes. get rich just to have vagina? Yes. Wow. Yes. So they're like, I can't find a woman on my merits of my person and personality, so let me get a bunch of money not, so I can find a vagina. I'm not even one. saying. There are some charming rich guys out there. You're not going to sit up here and tell me that that uh, Will Smith or freaking uh, the, the Rock or or name some guys. Name. Some oh, yeah. Those guys there. are charming. You Brad can tell. Pitt is charming as hell. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Brad Pitt could have this this bussy. All right. <laughs> he could have it. Yeah, dude. So yeah, okay. So my whole point was really just to kind of discuss the fact that we're making improvements on some people getting the vision to see, and this lady's absolutely not because she cut her hand off for a million dollars and lost it all, all of it, dude. You've got to feel well, like not the only biggest did she lose asshole. The money. She lost her hand. She lost her freedom. She lost her boyfriend. And Obviously, she's a good definitely going to get fined if he convinced her. Yeah. So not only does she not have the million dollars, she's even has even less money than she had when she started. Less one hand. Less one relationship. Less one house. Less one freedom. She would have been better off just stealing the million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's probably easier to like. At I least would, would have I both think hands. If, my, if I had two choices of steal a million dollars and potentially go to jail, or cut off my own hand for a million dollars, I probably would choose the trying to steal it, it over it that. It seemed like such an invaluable plan, though, Jonas. You, know, you take out would... the you take the insurance money out, and then a month later, you're like, "Oh, my hand fell." Yeah, off. dude. Any plan that involves getting an insurance policy and then cashing it in a month later, because they don't <laughs> ever, they they don't ever do a, they don't ever do investigations on that sort of stuff. 
the worst part. Yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, you took out a ten million dollar life insurance policy on your wife, and she was poisoned a month later. Like, <laughs> oh, well, I guess that that happens. Man, you just happened to take hand insurance out, and then a bandsaw <laughs> accident. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Like now, if you were like, Dude. now I get it. Now, see what what she should have done is she should she should have made it a long con. She should have became got really good at guitar. <laughs> and started making money as a guitarist. She already had the then money. took out hand insurance because it's for her profession. No. And then like, because yeah, like if someone works with their hands for like someone who like does like say instrument repair, and they need both of their hands to do repair, they should insure their hands because their hand. If they lose a hand or one of their hand gets deformed or mangled or disabled, they cannot no. They can no longer work. Yeah, and insurance, do their insurance is there for a reason. <laughs> right. J Lo had an insurance policy on her ass at a point in time. Dude, I work. I like. I do a lot of work on the computer. Do you imagine she cut a cheek off? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, I had an accident. Cheese slicer <laughs> fell off the counter. Just took a chunk. Oh, right give, out me, of my give me my sixty million. Um, my cheek I work fell with off. my hands a lot at work. Like do computer stuff. Sure. Should I get insurance on my hands in case I ever get like carpal tunnel or like get arthritis? And right. then I can just cash in the insurance because I can't work anymore. I mean, I wonder how much sure. it cost. I guess, and, and, and we're, I think we're gl gl glancing over the fact that this lady had the balls to cut off her own hand, and I don't have like the balls to like, I don't know, remove a mole from my neck half the time. <laughs> 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 this lady, yeah, she's she's like, you know what, dude? I'll just cut through bone. Yeah. Oh. And, and you're like, and you're like, dude, I can't pick this, just cut this piece of skin off. No, my dude, I can't, dude. I don't. I hate removing parts of my body. I'm not. Let's just put that out there, Jonas. I have an adversity to moving, or an aversion, I should say, to move removing parts of my body. If it grew on me, then I'm usually cool with it being there. Yeah, I feel you. You know, I feel you on that. I mean, like I couldn't I've tell you the last time I've a part of my body. I guess. I mean, I've had a tooth pull. I had my tonsils taken okay. out. Well, yeah, we've done those things. I've never had a tonsil taken out. I've never taken my own parts though. Yeah, dude, that's weird. Yeah, I could, yeah, dude. I don't know. Uh, I maybe don't know. Maybe, maybe like this weekend we can just take our little toe off, dude. No, I mean you don't need it. They say right, don't exactly. Need it. Like we could just cut it right off. dude. Oh, we could put them in a jar. We could wear each other's toe around our neck as necklaces to show our our bond. Uh, yeah, our camaraderie. Yeah, so yeah. you will have my little toe around your neck, and that then I'll have your disgusting little disgusting thing I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Like just like a little vial with a little toe in it. Like, no, this is my this is my friends. Like your partner? No, 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 dude. We're just friends. We just hang out, dude. We you're just like, figured it'd be cool. You're like sleeping in bed and I just nuzzle it against your nose <laughs> a little. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. I wanna go back to this. I wonder how much it would cost to get hand insurance and how long you would have to pay and if you got arthritis or something, if you could really cash it in. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's worth the cost for like somebody like you because like, you know, you're not like a millionaire but what if like i was like oh dude i just weep on oh, my fingers dude oh yeah you, your hand is real great at making 24 dollars an hour so we'll pay you 500 dollars when you're we'll pay you one paycheck's worth <laughs> you've been paying us 30 bucks a month for 25 exactly. years all right your hand stopped working here's a thousand bucks and you're like you, you go. i didn't even get my money back yeah sorry oh, dude it'd be like 10k maybe but even I still look that's into not that, worth though. it i should like get really good with my hands at doing something <laughs> and then like ensure them yeah think about it all right what you got man nothing you don't have anything no nah, dude i told you i didn't have anything oh really no, you don't no, no, I, got, I got more no no I, I no i got some we ain't got a ton of time left anyways so have you ever heard that there's a company it's called pine 64 have you ever heard of this company before do they make ketchup <laughs> no that's Heinz 57 yeah yeah dude they make they call it it's like green they call it so they make mustard like yeah okay. they, that's it pine 64 new mustard okay cool. that's it that's all the time we have no uh this company they make i didn't even know this they make uh electronics mm. and they came out with a item it's called a pine phone so it's basically a new cell phone it sounds awful already oh i know absolutely right but uh, no, what it uh, what it does is it is a cell phone that runs Linux. Oh, okay. So it runs Linux. I'm not mad at and, that. And uh, one of the coolest features that I th thought it had, which only goes to show you that this is totally possible, and they don't do it. Um, on the back of it, like if you take off like the back where like the battery would normally go, it has physical kill switches 
on the phone for your modem, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your cameras, and your headphone jack. So you can physically, like... Turn them off. Turn them off. And so they are actually turned off, like, not just, like, a button. Like, oh, my Wi-Fi is off now. Like, you can, like, if you want to disable, like, parts of your phone, like, if you, like, are a conspiracy theorist and think people are hacking your cell phone cameras and shit. Do you have that kind of issue? Do yeah, you feel dude, that, that way? Yeah, phone, dude. I got. I, 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 you think it's an Android, but it's a Pine phone, dude. I have to keep them off all the time. No, no I'm just saying. Do you do you, do you turn like? I'm, I'm kind of interested because like that. I don't know. Doesn't really resonate with me. It doesn't seem like something I would buy. But you said you thought it was cool. Do you turn like your stuff off when you go to bed? Do you turn no. your phone off when you go to sleep? No, no, I don't do any of that. No. Um, the only time I turn anything off is. Uh, a lot of times if I'm going to be gone away from the house for an extended period of time, I'll turn off like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all, just so it doesn't drain my battery. Okay. All right. I just didn't know if you were one of those guys like I'm going into the grocery store airplane mode because I know the government is going to. Oh, no. No. Like, no, they're, they're, they're listening to us right now, you know? Oh, well, yeah, dude. We're connected to the internet. They're told they're listening to us right now. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, Mitch McConnell <laughs> has his. <laughs> He's sitting at a desk listening to our podcast right now. <laughs> Hey, Mitchy boy. <laughs> what up, buddy? How you doing? Mitch McConnell, dude. No, but I do I do think Anderson that... Anderson uh, Cooper is in my home yeah, right dude, now. Yeah, dude, Lisa Ling. She's just, like, hanging out listening to our stuff, dude. <laughs> um, no, but I think, it's, I think it's cool that it lets you do that because I know there are people that are, like, have fears and whatnot that, uh... That like, oh, they have access to our camera and, oh, dude, this, that, and the other and, like, whatever, but, yeah. like... Yeah, I can see it being useful, but I, I just don't know if it's useful enough for me to switch over to a whole new phone OS. Oh, yeah, and Linux is not user-friendly. Uh, I mean, if they're putting it on a cell phone, it has to be something. Oh, I'm sure. They probably just put a shell on it, you know what I mean? More um, interested in the fact, like, that it would be less apt to be susceptible to, like, some of those malware that you would get because it is based in Linux. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm sure. So like, I wouldn't get as many Linux Candy Crush. Really have a lot of viruses. Exactly, because they because it's not used a lot. It's like Italian. So I wouldn't <laughs> get as many Candy Crush. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's why like or... Mac back in the day used to have like no viruses because no one cared enough to develop viruses for it. Everyone mm. just wanted to develop viruses for Windows because they hated Windows. It's still it's still pretty good to this day though. There's, oh, really, Mac? Yeah, yeah. There are some Mac viruses out there, but there's still very, nowhere near as many as like Windows. nowhere near as. And many. do you think that that's because Mac is just more secure in general or people just don't want to f with mac as much um it is the way that the os works that kind of prevents it it's kind of like uh like windows is like honestly it's like really really bad it has like very little onboard security in it and it's it's been like that forever and it's the most used so people are just like we can we well can they know it. they have like dumb people using it who will who will allow the exploits to be exploited yeah. easily <clears throat> mac was supposed to be like an improved version of it now, I, I don't know enough about computers necessarily to to get into great detail but i do know is that if you're looking for more security go mac if you're looking for even more than that then you can go ubuntu or you can go linux, linux. yeah yeah but uh yeah i don't know i have a pc and yeah, yeah. i have a mac yeah, I have a uh, yeah. I just I uh, I just I don't know. I, I use PC as well. And, and uh, I you use know, Android. I don't use uh, I don't if, use Mac soft. And Mac if you stuff. stay off of your tube sites, Jonas, you wouldn't have this issue. Tube like porn. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been to one of those before. Once or twice. Yeah. So uh, that is all the time we have for today's episode of TNT Dynamite. Uh, thank you for bringing the heat as always. <laughs> Please make sure to subscribe I'm not, to our I'm YouTube channel. I'm here every Chris. episode. Yeah, dude, you brought the heat today, though, <laughs> you dude. You treat me like a special guest. <laughs> like, thanks Thank for bringing the heat today. <laughs> thanks for joining me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, this dude's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock AM Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town on Twitch.tv. Heck yeah, for Jonas. Uh, we will catch you on the next one. We uh, oh. are out. Oh. Uh,